In today's lesson, we're going to be solving multi-step equations. The lesson is 2.5. Standard is 8EE7, 8EE7A, 8EE7B. The objective is to solve multi-step equations, and the essential question is, what is equivalence? Special solutions. In case number one, we end up with one solution, and this is when x equals a number. For example, x equals 5, x equals negative 2. In case number two, this is where we have no solution. This is where a number does not equal a number. So the variables are eliminated, and an example would be where 10 does not equal 5. Case number three is infinitely many solutions. This is where a number equals a number. So for example, 5 equals 5, or it could be 4 equals 4. Steps for solving multi-step equations. First, distribute. Then, combine like terms. Then get the variable on one side. Undo by adding or subtracting. And then undo by multiplying or dividing. Example number one. Solve the equation and tell how many solutions it has. Since negative 3 is in front of the parentheses, it's going to be distributed to the 9 and to the x. So negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And then we're going to bring down 33. So since negative 27 is a constant and it's on the same side as the variable, we need to move it to the other side. <clears throat> since it's negative, we're going to do the exact opposite. So we're going to add 27 to both sides. So negative 27 plus 27, that will cancel out. I'm going to bring down negative 3x. And then 33 plus 27 will give me 60. Since negative 3 and x are next to each other, that means it's multiplication. So I'm going to do the exact opposite, which is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 3, that will cancel out. It'll be just 1. And then I'm going to bring down x equals 60 divided by negative 3 will give me negative 20. However, I want to make sure that is correct, so I'm going to check my work. So I'm going to plug in negative 20 back into the original equation. So it'll be negative 3 times 9 minus 20 equals 33. So I'm going to do what's in parentheses first. 9 minus 20 will give me a negative 11. Bring down a negative 3 and bring down 33. So negative 3 times negative 11 will give me a positive 33 and bring down 33. So the left hand side does equal the right hand side. So x does equal negative 20. So that means I have one solution. Example 2. Solve the equation and tell how many solutions it has. So since 5 is on the outside of the parentheses, I'm going to distribute that to the a and to the negative 7. So 5 times a gives me 5a. 5 times negative 7 gives me negative 35. Bring everything else down equals 2a plus 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and move my variable to one side. In this case, I'm going to move the, negative, uh, the 2a to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact opposite. Since it's positive, I'm going to subtract 2a from both sides. So 5a minus 2a will give me 3a. I'm going to bring down negative 35 equals 2a minus 2a cancels out and bring down 1. Now I need to move the 35 to the right side. So since it's negative, I'm going to go ahead and add 35 to both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and bring down 3a. Negative 35 plus 35 will cancel out. And then 35 plus 1 gives me 36. Since 3 and a are next to each other, that means it's multiplication. I'm going to do the exact opposite, which is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And 3 divided by 3, that will cancel out. I'll be left with a equals 36 divided by 3. That will be 12. I'm going to go back and check my work to make sure I did this correctly. I'm going to plug it back into the original equation. So I have 5, and then a is 12. 
I'm going to subtract 7 equals 2 times a, which is 12, plus 1. So I'm going to go ahead and do what's in parentheses first. 12 minus 7 gives me 5. Multiply by 5 equals 12 times 2 gives me 24 plus 1. 5 times 5 will give me 25. 24 plus 1 gives me 25. So the left side equals the right side, so it is correct. So A does equal 12. So that means I only have one solution. Example 3. Solve the equation and tell how many solutions it has. Since 3 is on the outside of the parentheses, I'm going to distribute that to the 6 and to the negative 4x. I'm going to do the same thing with the negative 2 on the outside. I'm going to distribute that to the 6x and to the negative 9. So 3 times 6 will give me 18. 3 times negative 4x will give me negative 12x. And then negative 2 times 6x will give me negative 12x. And negative 2 times negative 9 will give me a positive 18. So I'm going to go ahead and move one of my variables. I'm going to move the negative 12x on the right side to the left hand side. So since it's negative, I'm going to go ahead and add 12x to both sides. Then negative 12x plus 12x, that will cancel out. Negative 12x plus 12x, that will also cancel out. So I'm going to be left with 18 equals 18. So since 18 equals itself, my answer is going to be an infinite amount of solutions. And that will be my answer. Example 4. Solve the equation and tell how many solutions it has. Since 2 is on the outside of the parentheses, I'm going to distribute that to the 3x and to the 5. And I'm going to distribute that 5 on the outside of the parentheses to the 2x and to the negative 4. So 2 times 3x will give me a positive 6x. 2 times 5 will give me a positive 10. And then 5 times 2x will give me 10x. 5 times negative 4 will give me negative 20. And then bring down negative 4x. Now I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms. So 10x minus 4x, that will give me a positive 6x. And then I'm going to bring everything else down. So now I'm going to go ahead and move my variable. The 6x that's on the right, right side, I'm going to move it to the left hand side. Since it's positive, I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. So 6x minus 6x will cancel out. 6x minus 6x will cancel out. So I'm going to bring down what's left over. I have 10 equals negative 20. However, I know that is not correct. 10 cannot equal negative 20. So my answer will be no solution. Example 5. Mr. Richard's class is holding a camp food drive for charity. Juliet collected 10 more cans than Ramona. Santiago collected twice as many cans as Juliet. If they collected 130 cans altogether, how many cans did Juliet collect? So I know Juliet collected 10 more cans than Ramona. Santiago collected twice as many cans as Juliet. If they collected 130 cans altogether, I want to know how many cans did Juliet collect. So since it's all together, I need to combine them. That means I'm going to add. I know I have Juliet plus Ramona plus Santiago is going to give me 130. However, I know that Juliet collected 10 more cans than Ramona. So I have Ramona, and then she collected 10 more than Ramona. Santiago collected twice as many cans as Juliet. So this is what Juliet collected, which was 10 more cans than Ramona, but he collected twice as many as that. And then Ramona is just going to come straight down because she's the basis of the problem. I'm going to add there and add here. Now I'm going to bring 130 down. Now I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 2 to the r and the 2 to the 10. So 2 times r will give me 2r. 2 times 10 will give me positive 20. Then I'm going to bring everything else down. Bring down the r, the 10, 
and the other R. And that equals 130. Now I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms. I have R plus R plus 2R. That will give me 4R. And then 20 plus 10 will give me 30. And then bring down 130. Now I'm going to move 30 to the right side. Since it's addition, I'm going to do the exact opposite, which is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 30 from both sides. This side will cancel out. I'm going to bring down 4R equals 130 minus 30 will give me 100. And since 4 and R are next to each other, that is multiplication, so I'm going to do the exact opposite. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. This side will cancel out because that's just 1. So R is going to give me 100 divided by 4 is 25. However, that's how many cans Ramona collected. Juliet collected R plus 10. So she collected 10 more cans than Ramona. So we're going to bring down 25 plus 10. And that will give me the answer for Juliet. So Juliet collected 25 plus 10 is 35. So Juliet collected 35 cans. And that's my answer.